Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today's video will be about Staff of Homa. As a free to play Genshin Impact player, I had 3 featured 5 star prolong characters in my account that is Shao, Raiden Shogun and Hu Dao, but not even a single 5 star prolong. But due to the current weapon banner, I got 2 Staff of Homas and an Aqua Simulacra. To watch the pulse video, you can click on the top right corner. So in this video, we will be testing and comparing the increase in damage output compared to my previous 4 star weapons and see how much damage increase do we get. Starting with Hu Dao with her weapon Dragon's Pain. She is fairly well built and will be using same artifacts with both the weapons. So we see wave damage starting from 55,000 and going all the way up to 59,000 at the end due to Yelan's passive. Now let's test this with the staff of Homa. This time her wave started from 65,000 going up to almost 70,000 at the end due to again Yalan's passive. That's almost a 16% damage increase from the previous 4 star weapon. Now let's test the second candidate, Raiden Shogun. So this is my F2P nuke build of Raiden Shogun with C0 Kujusara and C3 Sucrose. She managed to get at 281,000 initial slash with 30 to 40,000 after slashes. So that's pretty impressive considering she is C0. Now let's do this with the staff of Homa and see how much damage increase do we actually get. This time around we get 313,000 which is an 11% damage increase from the previous 280,000. So we can conclude that catch is an amazing weapon that's only 11% behind from the staff of Homa. Now's the time for Genshin's tallest character Shao. He is also fairly well built with 2 piece Vedison and 2 piece Shimenawa and he will be using the same artifacts. So with the black cliff pole, he was able to get 87,497 plunge attack damage but with the buff down he could only get 40,000. So now let's test this with the staff of Homa. With the staff of Homa, we see plunge attack of 98,000. That's a 14.5 or almost 15% damage increase from the black cliff pole. And even with the buff down, he was able to get 65,000 plunge damage, which is pretty impressive. Now, last but not the least, we have Shangling, which is an amazing free to play 4 star character who can even match damage of some 5 star characters. My Shangling is equipped with Gacha weapon, but it's only a refinement rank 1 that is way thicker thin. We see wave damage starting from 62,000, reaching up to 66,000 at the end of Bennett's ult due to Yelal's passive, but even without that, she was able to get 55,000 waves, which is very impressive for a 4 star character with a 4 star weapon. Now let's test her with the staff of Homa. I'll be doing the same rotation starting with Bennett, followed by Sucrose, then Shangling, and then finally Yelan to buff the damage. <laughs> This time around we see wave damage of 67,000 going up to 68,000 until the Bennett's buff ran out. While the wave breaker fin might deal 8% less damage, it is amazing to see that a 4 star weapon can come this close to the staff of Homa. These were the results of my testing. While the buff on some characters was huge, it was not so significant on the other characters like Shangling and Raiden Shogun, who already have pretty good 4 stars best in slot weapons tailored made for them. All in all, I think that Staff of Homa is a pretty good weapon in the current weapon banner along with the Aqua Simulacra, which is also an amazing weapon for any 4 star or 5 star bow user. So that will be all. If you guys want to know anything about the builds or my characters, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you all for watching.